Okay, we're here at gotomath.com. You might see some additional buttons here. I'm working on these right now, so they're being worked on. Nothing's really going on yet with them. Um, where are we at? Whoa, we're not doing that. We are at indefinite integration. So, anyway, since this is 1-1 here, this is the problem set. And I'm sure eventually I'll be adding to it, but that ought to get you started. So let's go over here and click on 1-1. One one. Let's get that to come up. It says find the indefinite integral. And so, of course, there's a thing called the definite integral that in the next section we work on. But uh, this one's called indefinite. But anyway, so we got this thing that looks like an S right here. Okay, this is the integral symbol. And it says 18 dx. So let's um, <clears throat> let's actually move over to the whiteboard here. The integral of 18 dx. So what in the world is this? It looks like the letter S, doesn't it? The integral of 18 dx. Well, let's pretend this is just a little side work here. Let's pretend uh, y was equal to. Uh, let's say 18x okay and remember we wanted to take the derivative of this okay we want to take the derivative so let's do that and I'm gonna actually write dy over dx here alright okay so we're gonna use this notation so remember the derivative of 18x is just 18 remember that well what's happening here is, is we're actually going we're gonna be going backwards all right, we're going to be going backwards. It's called the antiderivative. But uh, we took the derivative. We're going to do the antiderivative. In other words, we're going to go back. We're going to start here and go back to find this. You see, that's what we're doing. Okay, we're just going backwards. So we're going to be given the derivative, really, and then going backwards and finding the original function. All right, that's what's actually taking place here. Now, you could take this dx and bring it over here. So you kind of write it like, remember the differentials in the differential section? Remember the differential of y is equal to 18 times the differential of x? Okay. But then what's going on, if we want to find what y is, we do this thing. This is crazy. I know this is called, this is like an operator here, taking the integral of the left, and we must do the same thing, the integral to the right. Okay, and so now what's going on is, is now we pretend there's a one right here. So the integral of dy, or one times dy, is actually y plus some constant. Y plus some constant is equal to, and then this one right here, the integral of dx, the integral of dx, now we don't write 18, uh, we're not going to be writing 18x, well no, actually we are going to be writing 18x, 18x plus, and then some constant c2, see that, some constant c2, and then if we were to solve for y, we'd say y is equal to 18x plus some number, some constant c2 minus c1 but c2 minus c1 is just another constant okay and we'll just say it's that right there all right you see that see what we did there well so when we see this we're just going to be writing okay this is what we want to do we're going to write an x next to it if it's just a constant and then plus c okay that's it. That's all we're doing. Now, here's something you can think about. This is 18x to the 0 power. What's x to the 0 power? It's just 1. So this would be 18 times 1 is just 18, right? Well, now think about this. What we're doing, remember we took the derivative. We uh, took the 1. We brought it out front. We subtracted 1 from the uh, exponent. Well, what we're doing, we're just doing the opposite. We're adding 1 to the exponent and instead of taking this number and putting it out front we take it and we divide it by 
okay we take this number and put it down here all right so okay so remember in taking derivative we subtract one from the exponent well when we're doing integration we're adding one to the exponent and then of course you'd have plus c over here all right so it gives you a better idea why we're just tacking at x tacking at x on to it okay all right so quickly if i said um 17 dx right this is equal to 17x plus c okay all right well enough said about all that so let's uh let's click the answer make sure everything's good on that and it is okay you'll catch on i promise all right, let's go back to the home. So you're at gotomath.com. You want to practice that, and I shall see you later.